General Heath. Sir, beg the report. Yes. Very strange, sir. The situation is very confused. What's happened? Well, sir, I moved in this morning as director. I thought it was only a few militia, but it was dismounted cavalry, sir. Well, there weren't all that many, and the boys wouldn't hold back. I thought we shouldn't ought to be stopped by a few dismounted cavalry, but they made a good fight. They, they really put up a scrap, sir. Go on, General. Well, sir, they wouldn't leave. My boys got the dander up. We deployed the whole division and went after them. We just about had them running, then all of a sudden they got up infantry support. We got pushed back. Then, then we, we reformed and tried again. We couldn't just leave it to them, sir. But now there's more Yankee infantry coming up. I, I don't know how many, but I don't know what else we could have done. It started out as a minor scrap with a few militia. The next thing I know, I'm, I'm tangled with half the Union Army. Things will get out of control, Mr. Heath. That is why we have orders. Is it possible you could have misunderstood them? No, sir. Can you identify those people? The infantry is the first car, the Black Hats. There's another car coming up we still haven't identified. I must have all possible information on the enemy's threat. Major Taylor. Sir. I want you to ride forward yourself to the highest position and observe, and do be careful. Yes, sir. Yeah! Sir, shall I attack? No, sir. We are not yet ready for a full engagement. General Longstreet is not up with his call. Sir, the enemy is disorganized. If we're throwing all our forces down on the field, we will have the advantage. Is that our artillery? Yes, sir. I cannot imagine what has happened to General Stewart. I have heard nothing. Do you understand me, sir? Yes, sir. I have no idea what lies in front of me. It may be the entire Federal Army. 